Hey guys, well in this week's video we're going to be talking about part finishes and more specifically we're going to be talking about tumble finishes. Now a lot of times the parts come straight off the mill and they're already a nice mirror finish and I want to keep that. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just you know wipe my parts down and that's it they're ready to go. They've got a nice reflective mirror finish and that's good for a lot of different parts that I make. However, not all parts need a nice mirror finish and what I'm looking for is like a tumbled finish or a brush finish. So, in order to achieve that, I thought I'd check out some tumble finishes. So I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up this uh, five pound vibrator tumbler and some tumbling media. I wasn't real sure what kind of result I was going to get from this media. I did a little research on the internet. These little pyramids, they're made out of some abrasive resin. And these little pyramids, they seem to uh, do pretty good for knocking off the corners. Which is uh, something that I'm interested in doing. And also uh, kind of uh, cleaning up the surfaces. Now with a part like this where you can do a chamfer, uh, this is a finished part, so I don't really need to do anything with this. However, uh, some other parts that I run quite frequently, they end up with corners that are sharp and there's no real way for me to uh, ch do a chamfer operation on this. Now this is just some scrap stuff that all fall from a part that I make, but you can see has a nice has a nice mirror finish so I'm gonna use this as my sample and I want to try to see if I can knock these corners off and see what kind of finish I get on the surface so what I've got here is uh, three sets of three and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this quarter inch pyramids here and I'm going to run six of them with the quarter inch pyramid. I'm going to run them all for two hours. And then we're going to take it out and look at it. From the research that I've done on these pyramids, you want to run this with a little bit of water and a little bit of uh, dish soap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run six of these for two hours. The goal, the goal here is to knock these edges off. You can see there's a little thin piece of metal on here. I want to see if it'll knock this off because the parts that I run they have a little bit of an edge on there so I want to see if I can knock that edge off. And then we're going to run these porcelain balls. Now these are supposed to be non-abrasive so these should just do polishing operation. So I want to see what just these balls will do. So we're going to run three of these, two hours, with just the balls. And then I'm going to come back and run three these three that I ran with the pyramids. I'm going to run with the pyramids for two hours and then come back and run them with the balls for two hours. So once these get done, I'll toss these in with these and we're going to run them and we're going to see the difference between just the pyramids, what kind of finish we get with just the pyramids versus the pyramids and the balls on the second two hours and then just the balls for two hours. Hope that makes sense. I'll try to... Uh, let's get this uh, vibrator tumbler loaded up and we'll uh, get started and then we'll come back and we'll look at the finishes. Now, this is just, you know, Harbor Freight. Uh, I've already ran it some, and it seems to work pretty good. It's 120 volts. It uh, has a 5-pound capacity, which is really all the size I need for the uh, volume that I'm doing. Now, there are different kind of tumblers. This is a vibratory tumbler. They also have rotary tumblers, um, but I think this will do the trick for the finish that I'm looking for. Alright, so let me get these loaded. I'm going to run six of these at two hours 
with the pyramids quarter inch pyramids and we'll see how they do I don't want anything that's real abrasive because as you can see it's already got a fairly nice finish on there however the finish that I'm going after is more of a a brushed look uh, so let's get started okay so what I've done is I've poured about three quarters of this in here this is five pounds of media so I guess I've got about three pounds in there and I put six of these discs in here these are quarter inch aluminum discs like I said they're just some off fall from the uh, some parts that I make so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some water in here uh, a couple things that I noticed that the water does is it helps keep those part clean because this will get this water will get dirty and it also kind of helps with the noise and then I'm just going to use some dishwashing liquid here uh, just a couple of drops all right we're going to put the lid on here uh, one thing I have found out is uh, you got to have this lid on here tight you need to make sure that you have this washer and this little spacer on here now the reason that I wanted to, to the reason that I wanted to test this vibrator tumbler finishes is because the parts that I run all the time when they come off the mill um, they're nice and shiny like this however uh, they have this sharp edge on here and I'm really trying to get the sharp edge knocked off as well as uh, I don't want the part to be so shiny uh, you work real hard to try to get your part finishes to be mirror finish and then some parts like this you don't want a mirror finish on so uh, now I'm having to work to take this off I usually hit it on a buffing wheel to knock the corners off and that usually works but it still gives me a mirror finish and what I'm going for is a sort of a uh, brushed finish alright so let's turn this on and then we'll see how loud it is not too bad with the water in there so I'm going to set a timer and I'm going to come back in two hours ok guys well I, I've ran these six pieces for two hours in a with these quarter inch resin pyramids a little bit of water and a little bit of a uh, drop of dish soap uh, they turned out really nice they went from this polished or this uh, straight off the machine mirror finish to this uh, finish here I'm gonna call this like a beaded blasted finish it almost looks like it's got uh, it's a galvanized piece of sheet metal or something it has this um, three dimensional look I guess it's not three dimensional but it gives these dull shiny areas around here now that's just after two hours which is um, kind of the time frame that I was looking for I don't want to have to spin, uh, throw them in a tumbler and leave the parts in there running overnight. I just want it to be able to uh, get a finish on there that I'm satisfied with uh, with just a couple of hours. So, of course, I only threw six of these in here, and I could probably throw 20 pieces in there of the part that I'm running. But you can see this where it didn't cut all the way through the material; it still left this little edge here. But on the other side here, it did kind of knock off the sharp edge. There was like a little burr on there from the machining process. Now, the package says that it's used for removing rust from threaded fasteners without rounding the edges. 
of course I'm assuming that's for like bolts which are steel so this is aluminum and it does kind of just knock the sharp corner off there just a little bit but it doesn't remove this little uh, thin piece that's on there so I guess if I leave it in there a little longer it'll do a little bit more be more a little more aggressive but I think for the parts that I'm going to be using uh, this material on I think it's gonna this probably is going to be my finish of choice I really like this it's kind of a a brushed finish brush look so next I'm going to take three of these that were ran in the quarter inch pyramids. I'm going to toss them in with three that haven't been ran at all. And we're going to throw them in here with some of these four millimeter uh, porcelain beads. Now these say that they're non-abrasive and it's for polishing. So we're going to see what they look like after being tossed in there with the four millimeter beads and that should give us um, hopefully this added step here will give us a different finish than just tossing them in straight off the machine alright so let me run those I'm gonna change out to tumble media and then we'll run these for uh, a couple hours and see what happens I did have to remove the tumbler off the bench I put it out uh, in another room because it was just too loud and uh, hard to work in here so alright let me get that and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at all three finishes okay so here are the results of the test that I did using a couple of different abrasives uh, to try to see what kind of finish I can get on this part now this is just some scrap piece again from a part that I run uh, this here was the control so all the pieces look like this you can see there's a nice finish on this this was done with a face mill you can see there are some a few swirls in there but for the most part uh, it's a mirror finish you know if you can see this let me see if I can you can see this is a, a really good mirror finish on this now this was the control the first thing I did was I used these quarter inch pyramid uh, resin media. Now they say that it's for removing rust on threaded fasteners uh, without rounding the edges. So mainly this is for steel bolts and stuff and so it's not going to round the edges. So I figured on the aluminum it might round, uh, round off the edges slightly and it did. It kind of knocked that, I don't feel that burr on there. Now these were ran for two hours. I also ran these right here in the pyramid media for two hours alongside these. And then I took these three and these three and tumbled them two hours in these porcelain spheres. These are four millimeter balls. Now these say that they just polish. So these three here were done just with the balls. These three were done with both. And you can see the difference. There is a slight difference. Um, these are more a little bit more uniform. You can see there's still some shiny spots on these versus this one is just kind of dull all the way around. So that's that's a real nice finish that feels pretty smooth it did not polish it so to speak I guess well I guess it did polish it slightly it does have a nice um, shine to it uh, this is a good option it does take four hours to achieve this and it does use both media I could try to combine these two types of medium to see what uh, type of finish I get now the last method was just two hours with the porcelain balls and it didn't really change it much um, if anything it may have made it uh, just a little bit duller but they're both still they're both still real nice and shiny uh, you can see 
this reflection here might be slightly duller than this reflection most definitely this may be good for uh, if you just want to polish however this is not probably not something that I would use I think coming off the machine I get just as good a finish as tossing it in here I really don't see the improvement here this finish is nice I do kind of see that uh, this one has kind of like a galvanized steel look where this one you can see it's starting to remove it after two hours I wanted to try to keep the times the same because two hours is about where I would like to be on my finish however um, this is a really nice finish here it feels nice and nice and uh, smooth I think all the edges are rounded off so I might go with the combination of two plus two or try to combine these two together and see if I can just tumble them all with one media well I guess that'll wrap up this video for just to kind of give you an idea of what the different medias will do on aluminum if you want to have like a tumbled finish uh, I think it turned out really well uh, this experiment and I I do think this is going to save me some time because before I was trying to knock these edges off with a buffing wheel and the part came out nice and shiny but it was very time consuming and I had to stand there and do that over and over and over whereas just tossing it in the media I think is going to give me a nice finish and I don't have to worry about I can just turn it on come back later on and pull the parts out alright guys I think that'll wrap up this video. If you're interested in doing some uh, tumbling on your parts, uh, hopefully this will help you out. There are different other different types of media. There's some bigger, more aggressive triangles if you really want to knock some edges off. However, for what I was trying to achieve, I think this is a good combination. But I'll keep experimenting in the future and uh, for different materials. For brass, you may want some walnut or corn cob. Uh, media. These spheres may work well for cleaning. Uh, if you do reloading and you want to do some brass cleaning, this might work well. Guys, if you're new to my channel, you can click on this subscribe button down here in the bottom corner. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, click on that notification bell. That way, when I post a new video, they'll send you a link. If it looks like you're something you might be interested in, you can stop by and check it out. As always, guys, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. If you have any other suggestions for tumbling uh, your parts and getting uh, a tumbled finish, please post a comment in the video. I'm always interested in what uh, other people are doing. Thanks for watching guys. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.